Hey there, welcome to our channel. Did you know you can install Microsoft's web server application, Internet Information Services on Windows 11? That's right. IIS 10 is available on your PC with just a few clicks. IIS is essential for developers, sysadmins, or anyone looking to host a website or a web app locally. Whether you're testing a website before deploying it to a live server, setting up a local development environment, or running a personal web server, IIS provides a powerful and flexible solution. However, before proceeding, it's important to note that IIS is not enabled by default in Windows 11, and certain features require additional configuration for optimal performance and security. To get started, open the control panel, click Programs, and then click Turn Windows Features On or Off. Scroll down and locate Internet Information Services IIS. Check the box next to it, and then expand the selection to choose additional components if needed. Once you've selected the necessary components, click OK, and Windows will begin installing IIS. Close the control panel windows and then go to the Start menu. Type IIS, and then select IIS Manager. A default site will be automatically created, but I prefer to create my own. To create a new site, just right-click on Sites, and then select Add Website. Enter the name and path to your site's application files. I'm going to use the host name mysite.com for the site bindings. You can just use localhost if you want. Be sure to create the site directory if it doesn't already exist. Since I want to use a specific name for my site, the next thing I need to do is add it to the local hosts file. This file is typically locked, so be sure to give yourself permission to save the changes. Following best practices, I'm going to tighten the security of my site by using a specific application pool identity. Click Authentication and then select Application Pool Identity. Next, add the user account of the app pool identity to the website directory permissions. The user account name is always IIS app pool backslash site name. Now that the site bindings are configured with my hostname mysite.com and the local hosts file has been updated with the hostname, I am ready to test the site. However, I will first open a command prompt and ping the hostname to ensure it's returning the local host IP address. My custom hostname will now resolve to the new site I created. To recap, you can install IIS 10 on Windows 11 with just a few clicks in the control panel. You don't have to use custom hostname like I did, but it will help if you're planning to set up additional sites. It goes without saying that setting up IIS on Windows 11 is just for convenience when you need to test something quickly without having to log into a server. Windows Server is the best platform for hosting IIS and .NET web applications. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next tech review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.